Welcome back my turtles to another art video with Foxfoot Crafts. In today's video I'm going to be customizing this tote bag that I have. It's got a nice metal handle to it. It folds out. You can see it's kind of a large bag. I'm actually going to have to back my camera up to show the whole thing. But I have this tote bag. I purchased it from Five Below and I want to actually go through and paint strawberries on it. So um, maybe like a couple big strawberries and then a couple small strawberries here and there across it. So um, from there I, I'm gonna just go through, paint them up, and show y'all the time-lapse process of it. I'm gonna put some on the front and then some on both of the sides as well. I wanted to go ahead and do a stencil for this. I'm pretty bad about going through and just starting on a project, going right at it, not having a pattern, and then messing up along the way and being unhappy with it and disappointed in myself. So, this would kind of help me to avoid that situation. So, drew out a very simple, just basic strawberry shape. Got my nice big strawberry and then a smaller strawberry that I can trace over multiple times. And then realized I needed a third little strawberry to go with it. Because of the material of this bag, I thought it might be easier to use my Posca pins first. Posca, Posca, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, if not, correct me below to go ahead and put a white layer down to help the colors pop. And then I wanted to try my fabric markers that I had and see if I liked those. I wasn't real happy with the original color, so I switched over to some old acrylic paint that I had. And then I also wanted to try one on the white Posca itself and then one on top of the fabric marker to see if there was a difference in the color if I prefer one over the other. This whole bag was kind of a learning experiment for me. With the acrylic paint, it definitely takes a lot of layers. Um, even with the white layer being behind it, I noticed that I had to do a layer and then let it dry, and then another layer and let it dry, and another layer and let it dry. Which, if any of you have seen my other like watercolor painting videos or anything, know that I am not a fan of the multiple step waiting over and over. I just, I get too impatient and it, it burns me out very easily on these projects. So this tote bag was something that I really, after I got into it and started it, I really had to push myself to continue and finish the bag.
the video footage doesn't quite show the blotchiness of these. Um, it, it definitely needed multiple coats in order to get it to look all right. I did try a couple different techniques as far as like making a wet pan for paint. I'm not sure if I did that correctly. I could have swore somebody said to use a wet paper towel and it would help prolong the life of your acrylic paint. And I didn't notice a difference, but figured I'd give it a try. I went through and adjusted my camera. I actually raised it up. My normal camera height is about 12 to 16 inches, um, somewhere in there, just estimating. But in order to fit this bag, I had to like raise my camera up almost, almost like a foot and a half, two feet, almost. Like I had big boxes on either side holding up my stand. In hindsight, I, if I had known it was going to take me this long to get this done, I probably wouldn't have done so many strawberries, but I got over, over, overstimulated with them, but that's okay. I then used black Posca pin to go through and add detailing and line them. And it still felt a little simplistic. The black Posca pin for some reason was bleeding into the material. And so I went back and tried to clean that up some as well. Drawing in seeds, some little shines. And 
then figured that they'd look really cute with a little white outline. It would make them pop a little bit more. So. From there, we have the final piece. Um, lots of work went into this bag. It took me at least two weeks to get this done, but I, I definitely am very happy with the results. It's a cute tote bag, and I'm, you know, looking forward to trying to customize more of my stuff. So, nice deep bag for any of my goodies. Cute design on the bag. Thank you everybody for tuning in and watching my video, and I will see everyone next time.